I just, um, I'm just looking at those two doors that got my attention, and I don't know why I've needed to tell you that, but I, I look at those two doors. I'm really, really drawn to the back door, so just let me work with that for a second. Not that I know that there's anyone walking in here, but for some reason I'm really drawn right up to the back door there. Um, let me see who I have in the spirit world. It might become a little bit more apparent in a minute. Uh, okay. Oh, all right. I have a lady here. I have a, um, an older lady. I know she's a grandmother of many. There's many, many children here that she's grandmother to. I know also that she is um, the type of lady who has quite a raucous character. So, um, let me see. Still looking at the back door. Uh, still, still paying attention to the back door. She's got a very raucous character. Uh, she was a smoking, drinking, swearing grandmother. Yeah. So, fact. A smoking, drinking, swearing, raucous grandmother. Oh, you just walked in that back door, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, so uh, is there anyone else want to claim this raucous grandmother as well? Okay, so we've got an auction going on here and over here. Oh, goody, okay. Uh, all right, so let me work with this lady here. I know that she, she um, <laughs> um, to, to say really nicely, was not the most feminine of ladies. She, she has a, a fairly, um, <laughs> I don't know what that is, uh, 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 maybe she has a fairly broad face, I'm not sure, but I know that she's not overly feminine. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure if you want to claim that one. <laughs> uh, but I know that um, there's a song here that she sings to me, uh, Take Me Home Again, Irene. Does anyone know that song? I'm not going to sing it, Take Me Home Again, Irene, because uh, I know that um, I have that feeling about her as well. She might have had maybe European connections as well. Okay. I, it must be you because you're at the back door. Yeah. Uh, so can you, uh, do you want to come and sit a little bit closer to me? You don't have to come right up close. I just... Um, just near Thelma. Go near Thelma. Yeah, sit next to Mum. That's my mum, everyone. The, the lady in the orange there. <laughs> uh, okay. Smoking, drinking, raucous, European background grandmother is yours. That's right, isn't it? Uh, the song, Take Me Home Again, Irene. Does that make sense? Take me... Oh, okay. Uh, take me home again, Irene. And uh, also, if I have your grandmother correctly, do we have Harry? Oh, that's my father. Is he in the spirit world with your grandmother? Um, because as I look at grandmother here, Harry comes forward as well. Um, Harry is a very... Um, uh, um, he's, a, he's a contrast to his mum. So Harry presents to me uh, well-dressed and um, in a suit for some reason. Not sure. But um, as he comes close, I know that I've got Harry, I've got your grandmother here. Uh, your grandmother is a life of the party. My grandfather was a little bit like your grandmother, so I, that's why I recognise her. Um, and uh, I feel like um, when nobody's looking, she's giving me wine or beer <laughs> as a kid. Is that true? Yeah. yeah. Perfect. Uh, because I know when, when, when all the adults aren't looking and as a child, here, have a, have a beer, have a, have a drink. Uh, and it's kind of something my grandfather would do, so I know this, I know this energy quite well. Um, I feel also that she was um, a, a loving grandmother, but she would say things that grandmothers wouldn't usually say. Say things, um, d d um, let me give it to you this way. I've got two girls. I need to be very gentle with those two girls, especially when they were little, because they'd just burst into tears if you said anything like someone's head's going to get chopped off or, uh, or anything like that. But your grandmother didn't, because I feel like she'd say certain things, you know, like nursery rhymes, and um, they'd be shocking. I just feel like I'm shocked. in that rhyme yeah because she's laughing here because the head gets chopped no I'm not morbid but it's just a funny thing to say to kids um, <laughs> she thought it was a funny thing to say to kids 
I really like your grandmother. She comes close to me here. Um, she she was um, a very um, um, practical lady, very practical, uh, and I feel that she was very capable. Did her partner pass uh, quite a while before her? Because I feel for a lot of years she was on her own. Um, but I never really felt on my own, is, is what she gives me. Because I feel that I've got lots of people around me, lots of love around me. Um, and I know that... Oh, I have no clue what that is. Um, hold on a second. Uh, the mediums in the room will understand this moment that I'm having right now where something comes to you and you think, surely I'm not going to say that. But, um, <laughs> yeah, surely I'm not going to say that. Uh, because it doesn't make any sense to my mind. Uh, but I want to say, show me your cheesecake. Or give me a piece of cheesecake. Does that make sense to you? Have a think. Have a think. I feel like I want to talk about cheesecake, but it's not really cheesecake. Okay. Ask her, when you ask some family members, ask them what uh, the reference to cheesecake might be for her. But I just feel like she's laughing as she says it. So I don't feel it's actual cheesecake I'm talking about. I feel like it's something else. Uh, and um, it could be funny. So. <laughs> She's one of those grandmas that you think, wait a minute, what's going to come out of her mouth next? Uh, but I know that she's lovely. She, um, uh, does she have, um, uh, she has European connections, doesn't she? Uh, because I know, oh, I don't know what that is. I know that there's um, s um, a soup that she makes, um, and I know that um, people still try and make the same thing. Like, uh, um, my husband makes a really nice seafood chowder, but I feel something like that. There's a, there's a dish here that people like to make that, that she makes. Uh, but she comes forward here. She knows um, you well, even though you feel like you didn't um, spend heaps and heaps of time with her. Uh, she knows you very well. Um, and she sends lots of love. Um, keep coming. I just want to see one more thing. Um, I don't know whether her beer of choice was VB. Yes. It was... <laughs> because um, all of a sudden she puts a VB can right here in front of me uh, and I know that that's important and that that's what I love is um, VB cheese... I don't think she likes to eat cheesecake. There's something different <laughs> about the cheesecake. Um, uh, but I know that she comes forward here. She wants to tell you something about America. I know that America is important or um, travel to America. Uh, so I just wanted to let you know that there's something important. America, Canada, somewhere like that. Somewhere in North America here. Um, and it feels important to me. Um, I, I don't know whether you're going to be living there half the year, living here half the year. Uh, because I feel like that's what's, what's um, happening with my mind here. Is um, She wants to talk about you living half the year in America, half the year here in Australia. And I know that this is, this is important, and um, she's, she's happy for this. Um, and she speaks of cheesecake again. So, um, please. Oh, okay. Do, do you... Oh, well, that's what you're going to do. Um, you're going to live half, half the year there, half the year here. Um, uh, please find out the cheesecake reference, because I really want to know it. I really... <laughs> No, <laughs> I really want to know it. Um, and let me see here. Uh, we, ha we have Dad here too, don't we? Well, I mentioned him a minute ago, um, Harry. Uh, let me see if I can bring Harry forward. Uh, Harry was um, a, a, a gentle-hearted man, is that true? As he comes forward here, he comes forward with great love. I feel, um, I feel very gentle in, in my manner. Um, and let me see here. Come, come, come. Uh, and... Uh, is, there, is there a lady connected to Harry with an A name? Um, a very short little A name. Not Anne, more like Ailsa or something like that. Just keep that in the back of your mind as well. Uh, because that name comes to me as I, as I look at Harry here as well. Um, and I feel also that when Harry passes, were you somewhere different? Were you away from him? Yeah, but did he pass and you didn't you didn't get there in time? No, um, he, he passed away in the beach. Okay, all right. 
Um, because he talks to me here about his passing, I don't feel you're around him. Hmm. Distance, yeah. Um, he just gives me a distance here. Um, but I know that as he comes forward, uh, there's no distance in his mind anymore. There's a sense of warmth and love and, and gentle heartedness. And I want to give you your dad like that now. Not so much even like you probably remember him, but as a very warm, warm, gentle hearted man around you at the moment. Um, he had um, very set ways, very um, set um, ideas, I feel. Um, very set in his ways, very set ideas. And it's almost like I, I won't discuss anything outside of my ideas. And he recognises that. He recognises that it doesn't fit with his mode of thinking, then it doesn't happen. Then it shouldn't happen. Uh, but he's completely different now. Completely different. Uh, your grandmother gives him a bit of a hard time. She had a few kids, your grandmother, didn't she? About seven. Yeah, another seven. Must be the night for seven kids. Must be the night for seven in the family. Um, because I feel she had um, quite a few kids here and um, I know that she was the um, naughtiest grandma in the world. Just naughty. Naughty in, in, in what she did and what she said and, and how she behaved. Um, but yeah, but know that your grandmother comes forward. I recognise her mostly first because she sounds, she feels to me like my grandfather. Uh, but she brings forward Dad and Dad says that. Um, he's sorry that he was so... Um, dogmatic in his thinking. Um, he, could, he wouldn't see anything outside of that. Uh, but I know here that there's a, there's a sense of um, looking after you now and know that you will be definitely six months here, six months America. So thank you very much.